no cap. That burger. There's something special about your love. I think it's one of a kind. So guys, we are in. I know you were like, where are you guys? This is not the the car we always see you in. The car you always see us in is in our SUV and this is actually our actual car. Sometimes you'll see Dan like drive this or majority of the time Dan drives this to work so you'll see him in this car. But we are taking an adventure but it is gonna be a little chilly tonight. Not a little chilly, it's gonna be cold. Let me rephrase that. It's gonna be cold as hell. It's gonna be dropping down to 45 today and tomorrow. Originally we were supposed to go cold as hell. I know right? Yeah, that is kind of strange. <laughs> that is. That is very true. Um, because it's not going to be. Well, maybe some parts of hell are cold. Because think about it, right? I don't want to think about Let's not think about that. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yo, when it's too cold, it's miserable. I will say that even in this coldest of cold, our cold is not like really cold, I feel like. I felt like I was in 40s in DC and it felt extremely cold. Dan is gonna take this light. He's gonna take the light. And he's taking it so like smooth. Like, what are you gonna do? Like stop me? He just went with it. Oh, are we gonna stop and get the chicken for him? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go to Publix right now. He is not taking you inside to go look at no sweets or anything like that. So we are going on a quick little adventure. Um, I stole Dan's hat today. This is his hat, um, but it's cute. I actually bought it for him, but it was like really cute and I stole it to wear today because it can fit all my hair. So I hope you're having a great day. I hope it's not cold where you are. And if it is cold, I hope it's a bearable cold. We are going to do this little adventure and then head right home and buckle up. That's what we're going to do. Cuddle tonight. Ooh. Oh yeah, are you talking to me? <laughs> yes. You think I'm t telling them that I want to cuddle with them? Yeah, why not? Cuddle hey, up on the screen. Cuddle up, yeah, cuddle up and watch some episodes of on our BS or whatever. You know, we got playlists no. for days. Telling you guys that we have some new things coming soon. What's around? It's evening time. People just left work. You leave work and you go to the supermarket and you try to find something to cook for dinner tonight. No, bro. I'm telling you. Monday through five workers, I'm not going to diss you, but... No, they, we rough. need them, but I'm saying I, it's, it's for me. It's I did it, and I, that's that's why I'm saying it because I did it. I've done it. Dan did it. Every We've time done it, done and it, it's it too, so. all right. See you guys. All right, guys, we are at our first location. This is Wally's Wings. We are on Main Street, downtown Kissimmee. Dan knows this area a lot better than me. It is cold out here, so we're gonna run inside and give you um the deets what's up guys so we are inside wally's i'm gonna show you around i actually got to meet wally the guy up on here really cool to see the owner and actually see the name outside versus the owner wally was telling us a little bit about himself parents are originally russian he was born in jordan really down to earth selling us his favorite we were thinking about wings but they all have subs so poor lisa gets trapped in that israelite conversation right there so i'm gonna show you guys the menu real quick so of course it's called Wally's Wings but they have more than just wings they have looks like some breakfast stuff they have subs they have gyro a bunch of things here so well it might be by some standards not the most fancy spot it's very clean you can see into the back of the kitchen people use the term hole in the wall kind of as a disrespect um, this is just a small place but the fact that you can walk into a place called Wally's and meet Wally is you know more direct for me and more what I like to see but anyway I'm gonna go over there and rescue Lisa from this conversation make our decision and get home and get our review in but Wally's down to earth We're still waiting on the food. He makes it to order, so be patient. But we just saw somebody leave with a big, huge, like four containers worth of. I don't know if it was all wings, but we're gonna see what the hype is about. Come check out. If you're ever on Main Street, you're ever downtown, Kissimmee, swing by, support small businesses like Wobbles. All right, we're back in the car. We just got our order. 
We are being responsible patrons and kind of greedy to try it out. Yeah, so I just wanted to taste fresh these items. So this is the onion ring. Mm. Okay. That's a solid onion ring. It is a good onion ring. Crispy. Again, it came right off of the fryer. Yeah, so it's still mm. very hot. Um, which you want. It's crispy. It's the kind of onion ring I like. This batter is good. I'm also not big on huge onions where you bite into it and you see this whole onion hanging out of your mouth. This is a very light onion. This is for people that say they don't eat like onions on a burger because I'm one of those people. So let's try the fries. Ooh, look at the steam. Can you see the steam coming off? They look like regular fries. There's one for you. Okay, they're a little fresh. And I mean like the Jamaican saying how fresh. When we say fresh salt. is like you need some salt. They actually do have a little starchy texture to them. Yeah. If they were a little bit more crispy, maybe the one that I got was a little bad representation Try. of it. But if they're a little bit crispier, I would say all they need is salt. This next item is the, look at that, lemon pepper. Can you see that? Look at that sauce, okay? It is fried and then they put the sauce on top. Then this one is the <laughs> parm, the, the garlic, garlic parm. parm. Okay, and he does not play in. with that sauce. He does not okay? play with his sauces, okay? And it smells If amazing. you're more into like dry rub, so far Wally's yeah. does not seem like it's gonna no. be for you because he is saucy wings. And then this is the- Honey. Hot mango Hot or? honey mango. And I'm excited for this one. So saucy wings, that's the first thing. If you're a dry rub kind of person, Probably it's not to say original. that they don't have yeah. that. They have original, they have extra hot and some other yeah. things. But maybe they're but just yeah. original. They but are naked wings, so they're not yeah. like breaded or anything like that. Yeah. If you're into that like buffalo wild wing style, you want just try? think I'm just gonna cheat and just taste the sauce. Oh. He's gonna be a hater, I'm gonna taste the wing. Look at this. I wanna get Lisa's reaction to tasting the actual mm -hmm. wing. Very saucy. Which one is this? This is lemon pepper? Lemon pepper. This is a different take on lemon pepper to me, which is not necessarily bad. The sauce is good. I was expecting a little crispier. Yeah, it's very saucy. But weirdly, it's cooked very well. Yeah, it is juicy. But I like my wings harder, like a harder crisp. But it's nice and juicy still. The sauce doesn't make it too soggy, but I feel like if it stays a little long, it might be a little soggy. All right, so this is the hot honey. I don't know, it smells like bear. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. There's a nice little spice to it. Yeah, he was warning us that this yeah. is hot. And this is saucy, so you better get your fingers ready to have something to clean yeah. up with. Oh yeah, there's like a pepper to it. I just tasted like a pepper seed. Yeah. There's a little pepper mm. to it. This sauce is actually really good. Yeah. I would come here and ask them just for the sauce or like to get the fries and drizzle it on the fries or yeah. something like that. Doesn't taste very mango-y to me, but um, it does I have like a, there's that. like a sweet kind of, and yeah, if you're not like big on mango, I taste it, but it's not like a heavy mango. So if you're kind of like, eh, I don't want anything that's like too fruity, this is a good. This is like yo. a cooked mango. So like when you get well, like well, things watch, that are like Watch cooked. the bone. You see the bone? Yeah. The bone done, yes. That one was really good. So the one I'm really excited about is the garlic parm. There is a kick at the end Yeah. with the pepper. But let's try the garlic parm and then we're gonna drive home. Guys, the things that we do for you, I'm sorry. You don't know the grueling the nature work. of being a YouTuber that has to do a food review. Oh man, life is hard. Garlic parm, this one smells really good. It smells like like if you went to like I don't want to say Red Lobster, but if you went and had like a garlic palm like pasta, that this is it smells really good. Mm. Uh oh. I'm over here eating, okay? She did not want to share this one, so that's an indication that we might have found a winner, but mm -hmm. garlic palm mm -hmm. first bite. Num. Wow. Right? What did you say people wanted? It's garlic palm, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I see why. This is impressive. Like I said, this is not for the faint of heart if you're not into saucy wings. But if you are willing to do saucy wings, I'll go out and say this is the best garlic palm wing I've ever had. Yep. Hands down. Wally's, you win. Garlic palm. Garlic palm. <laughs> Where's my bone? The best. The best one. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. 
The anyway, end. let's get home. I forgot to tell you guys. So, I ordered a large fry. Wally was like, are you sure you want large? And I was like, uh, yeah, because I was going to do large fry and then a small onion rings. Uh, about 14 onion rings. But the fries, this is a small fry. Okay, we literally had maybe three of them. So, I can only imagine what the large fry is. Like, if this is like a game day, like a bunch of wings with friends, maybe the large fry would probably accommodate that. But that's a small fry. We're going to pop it in the oven and reheat it a little. We'll see if the sauce stays on or if it, I said evaporate. Dan was like, what happened it reaches davenport and it's gonna evaporate but you know how like, sauce can kind of we'll see <laughs> so we're gonna warm it up okay so this is warmed up again this is the garlic parm this is the hot honey mango and this is the lemon pepper warmed it up in the oven at 400 for like maybe two or three minutes the fries got a little crispier added a little bit of himalayan sea salt to it and the onion rings still looks amazing i'm excited Hey guys, so we are on the road just running errands doing like boring stuff But in a small way also exploring some areas we drove to a Sam's Club that we've Never been in inside but a Sam's Club that we've passed by maybe like two or three times And it's close to an area that I'm trying to get Dan to be a little more open to So it is close to like, you know, Dr. Phillips area But it's also close to like really good food options Which I find difficult in Davenport like If you live in Davenport you definitely know that Davenport has like two like restaurant options if you want like fast food on 27th they have Pan Express, Popeyes, Chick-fil-A they got that but when it comes to like actual like I want to make a meal out of something or eat something you know vaguely healthy it's very difficult to find that so we ended up at this place called Peas Viet Me Cafe. So yeah, this one like was the first restaurants that we went to and sat down. And initially we weren't really sure about the area. We weren't like sure what was over here. We went to an apartment in Metro West and then ended up over here. Things are so close up here. Down further south where we are in Davenport, everything is like extremely far. Everything seems like, again, the food variety is small. But up here, you know, like, you know, I like Asian food. And there's a bit of, you know, different Asian items up here. But little Davenport, there's Ovation. Everyone's like, oh, tell me a nice place to go in Davenport. And everyone will say Ovation. Because that's all they have. And Ovation is really good food. I enjoy their food. We've tried some food over in Champions Gate. It gets very boring, it gets very tiring. You need a little bit of variety. If you're gonna spend your money and treat yourself, you wanna live somewhere that you're not like, I'm driving an hour away to get some good food. So again, these are the things that you find in exploring areas. And for me, my belly is kind of what leads me sometimes. Drive around and like, okay, well, let's, what food options they have over here? And then I'm like, oh, they have a, a Whole Foods over here? They have a Trader Joe's over here? You know, and kind of like learn the area. And that's what we, enjoy doing by going to like wholesale stores and, and supermarkets because then you get to also see what items cater to the area that they live in so like this sam's club had plantains and the kissimmee one they said that their shipment for plantains is very little so you're like okay then there's probably a large Caribbean population over here so you get to like gauge a little bit more about the culture of the community and you are only gonna find that if you explore go into the shopping center and see what options they have in the shopping plaza and stuff like that so that's kind of what we've been doing today so i know we didn't pick up the camera um and, and kind of say hello but it was just kind of one of those menial days. I feel like I have um, that I need to sit down and talk to you guys and just a, a little about like what's been going on. But this last seven days has been a difficult um, seven days for me. Probably sit down with you and discuss what it is that's been kind of on my heart. But right now I'm just waiting for some food again from the Peas Viet Me Cafe. And then Dan is also picking up some drinks at Spring Tea. Look what Dan bought me. This is from Spring Tea. That was literally like down the way from in the Sky Lake area. So what is this thing? Explain what you're eating right now. I don't know. Oh. Mochi? The like ice cream thing? I don't like mochi. <laughs> but it's warm. It's like they fried it. So it's weird. It's almost like a marshmallow texture. Mm -hmm. 
and has some of the good elements of a marshmallow. Yeah. I don't know how to describe that. I've had mochi before and I was like, mm, I don't think it's I like that. It's somewhere between a marshmallow and like lychee. It, that's what it looks like, right? But then taste the drink itself. It is like a milk, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So it, the, the milk is nice. This, I'm still not sure about. Try this one. Yeah, so the best description for it is all the elements of like a roasted marshmallow, but like a weird fruit like sweet to it. So it's, it's, yeah. I, I guess it's like sitting in like a weird uncanny valley yeah. where it doesn't oh. want to commit to tasting like a fruit and it doesn't want to be all the way a marshmallow, but, the, but the you think it's a marshmallow. And it's warm and then the warm. drink is an ice drink. So. <laughs> so I think that's what it is. It's a little, a little weird. I will say it does kind of pair like it's two separate snacks like it feels like you're eating that and then having a drink it doesn't seem like they're together i we might have just been kind of silly and we were supposed to dip it in there and have it melt off into oh, the maybe. into the drink or something but hey and then dad got the i just got the classic tea. um milk thai iced tea so kellen got popcorn chicken and then yeah special potatoes which are like she was explaining are just like a fancy tater tot and they have both of them okay. in all of the same flavor. So the garlic. salted pepper. Salt pepper. Garlic. Garlic. And I don't remember the other two. There's four. Yeah, we're doing quality control here. It really does look like a tater tot. What is on your chin, bro? <laughs> Those are good. Okay, the chicken. This might backfire on us. I don't know if Kellen's gonna Ooh, like oy. this, but I like it. Yeah, it's good, right? It's really got good. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna like how it looks. Yeah. You know, because it looks kind of ashy, but it's good. It does. It does look like an ashy elbow, but I know. It, it's really good. Now the potato. And the funny thing is, we got this from the drink spot. This is a tater tot. Yeah. But it's good. It's good, but there's nothing like that. This is, is like, yeah, this is special. This is very nice. That this is just a tater tot with, I guess the. But there is like some type of seasoning on it. It's what's supposed to be there. But this is very nice. This yeah. one is like you could tell it's like panko breadcrumbs or whatever, and then whatever season. So this is the salsa pepper. And I was worried about getting food from there because I'm like, you guys are yeah. a drink spot. Mm. But the thing is, like, they're technically two different Asian styles of food. One is Vietnam. One is like a Japanese kind of. Um, take on food the whole and then there's a sushi very, place they have a pretty healthy like asian population in here again you always can tell how good or authentic somewhere is when you like leaving the sushi spot nothing but asian people are walking out a while oh ago. no i so, saw yeah. a bunch of like you know caucasians watch your whisper caucasians might be listening all right guys on the next one Alright, so uh, we've been fighting getting sick. I just went to work last night. Lisa's still trying to get back in the group of getting ready to go back to work. On top of having a sick toddler in the house. You can still hear it with me, but it's like leaving my system. Stopped at this place, I want to say it's called Izzy's. It's a Korean place. It said Korean street food, but it seems like they have more than just that on here. Look at this. I think we kind of messed up. We might have did one of those all the way hungry. Yeah, them too big for your, for your belly. All right, guys. So we got I'm some. I'm going to have Lisa give you the tour. Five no, sorry. Beefy Beba. We have some spring rolls. We have gal galbi. <laughs> it's like all beef short ribs. And then they have a bologi burger, which in the picture so they made it look like, oh, it might be this little <laughs> tiny slider that's coming. This huge burger comes out bigger than the buzzer uh, on double deer. So these two come together. This is spring rolls. Mm -hmm. I'm being honest, rolls. the spring rolls are a little small. The serving looks huge. Yeah. So this is the only one that's kind of it's a nice little stop, you know, last minute thing, or just like something casual. You could come in a t-shirt, it's not like you gotta get all dressed up. Hi, I have to Oh, thank you so much. So sorry. Thank you. Last thing, KFC wings. And, do I have to say it guys? They got some hiccups! 
So these Sashi's come in original, one other. And then this is the sweet and spicy. So we're, I'm gonna do first bite, and then we're gonna go and enjoy our food. Hype and hot, like I love it. Really good. Nice and tender. Beautiful runny egg. I'm gonna try and get Dan a full bite. Like too big of a bite. Alright. There was a lot going on. But very good. Every element was good. I think there might be a little too much. I didn't even understand what I liked in it. So you want to be able to pick at it. The bottom of this rice, because it's a hot like stone, is nice and crispy. We'll tell you I'm hungry right now. That's why I'm rushing you off. <laughs> I can taste with my eyes. I am full. So I'll come back and tell you yay or nay. I turned on the camera. Just so we can talk about this one. The bologna burger. No. Dan is gonna is gonna talk about it. I just wanna turn it on. So you can see my face and see how happy I am. Because out of the four things, we've only tried three of them so far. Yeah. This one is it's is the best so far. This one is heated. And it's not to say that the other stuff isn't good. No cap. That burger, the patty in that burger might be one of the best burger patties I've ever had. In any type of burger. It doesn't matter. It's, Juicy Lucy, it's this anything. Meat, it's, they probably shred with meat. It's, it's so soft, it's juicy, like just to hold the bun. The bottom bun is not soggy, but it's getting... Like Lisa cut it, and it started to just drizzle down all over the bread. The burger is, you know, top end burgers. One of the, good, one of the best burgers I've had. But the burger patty itself, specifically, I've never had a burger patty that tender. That might be, if not the best, one of the best burger patties I've ever had. No lie. That set the bar so high that I'm I'm lowering expectations as I go in to try to have the wings now because I don't want to be disappointed. How much is that burger? It's worth it because first of all, when you see that picture, it makes it look like oh you're gonna get this little tiny burger. Yeah, that is true. No, that is worth it. Compared to the other prices too, you think like oh it's, yeah. it is gonna be small. Especially after you see the spring rolls, you're like oh. Maybe it's like everything is tiny plates. No, the spring rolls are literally the only thing that came out that was like a very small portion. But yeah, that burger, I would drive back up here just for the burger, like nothing else. It's good enough that they could centralize their restaurant around just the burger. This is fire. This is very, very good. This is very hot. Um, the fried rice is good. It's good, good quality fried rice, but it's very hot. We're about to try this and we'll get back to you. But the burger was good enough to turn the camera back on. See you guys in a bit. Review time. All right, so quickly, ranking time. We're going with the four entrees that are here. And it doesn't mean that number four isn't good, but one has to be the least favorite of them all, <laughs> which was still pretty damn good. And for me, it's the wing getting slightly edged by this. There's just so much that this brings and the amount that we get. The wings are solid. I would order them again. I would maybe try the original, see what they like. Everything, all the elements work. They're crispy, the sauce is good. I think because we've gone to another place and had somewhere that had better version of it, then Lisa really likes that. I gotta eat more of it, but it's good. Every element of that was really, really good. But this, I thought once I tasted this, nothing was gonna touch this. This was that good. Deserves to be number one. Would have normally been number one at many other places. But the thing that we almost took off are off our tab. Our order, yeah. The burger for so, $7? For that price, for the size of the burger, and again, how oh, good the burger patty is. There is no shame in coming in second to that burger because it's that good. Come here and try the burger and tell me I'm lying. I definitely agree with Dan's overall um, ratings. I'm going to go into like value and that type of stuff. The KFC, the sushi shido version, I wouldn't come up, up here for this. We are like a table of like five or six of you guys who ordered it, that's fine. This one is the priciest at $26, the additional $2 for the fried rice. I don't think it was affordable. There are a lot of pieces, so it is, you know, a healthy portion, but 
So affordability puts this in third Yeah, three. maybe three people can be out of the, the servings of the meat. This one I think is a healthy portion with the with the meat and the rice. Instead of getting a fried rice side, maybe get one of these and split it amongst people. But overall, the winner for me, I think, is for $7. You might buy $7 for a burger that doesn't have sides. It's just that good that you really do want to come here and try it. So this is by far number one because of the size of the burger and the quality of the, you know, the coleslaw. There's a red and um, green cabbage in there. There's a beautiful sauce. It literally is this meat yeah. that they must have ground up and then made a patty out of and seared it. So good. And it's juicy and stuff like that. So affordability and stuff like that. Yeah, this one is for sure the winner. And then this one. Because of the size. Size doesn't always matter. I don't have that problem. I don't have that problem. But, you know. Some people out there that are like, yeah. You know. You will always be my inspiration.